Making art is a marathon, it's not a sprint. So you have to think about how to set yourself up for the rest of your life. I want our graduates to have a solid base for developing a contemporary art practice that's also socially engaged and to think of themselves as global citizens who have the possibility to affect social change and be part of broader culture in a really important way. A really broad range of faculty have come from many different international art communities and chosen CCA as the place that we want to teach and the Bay Area as the community that we want to have as the home base for our practice. People are taking the time to get to know me and the way that I want to work and how I want to be an artist in the world and they're helping sort of shepherd me through to those goals because they're able to take the time and the program is small enough that they see me as an individual within a whole community. This kind of conversation that happens between critical discourse, conceptual rigor, and craft feels to me like the heart of the way things get talked about here. Faculty really encouraged me to not shy away from having critical conversations, critical theory conversations, not just through writing, but through a making practice, a studio practice. All of the studios are mixed up, so you might be next to somebody who thinks more in terms of social practice or thinks more in terms of digital or video imagery. People working analog and digital at the same time. CCA has an excellent critique culture where you're really asked to help your fellow students see what they make, you know, and my critiques especially, I'm trying to hold up a mirror to the piece of art and say, look, this is what you did. And it's up to you to decide whether or not you like it, whether or not you think it's successful. At an art opening, everyone's going to tell you it looks great. Congratulations. But no one's going to give you the like real meaty, let's spend time together and dissect what you wanted to happen versus what we're seeing here. So grad school is like, the best time to get feedback. And when you're in an MFA program, I feel you're able to go through a development in two years that would take you five years otherwise. I feel like CCA helped really change my practice from when I got into like what it is now. Through the research, through like being around all these different artists, and then just having the encouragement to kind of like try something different. Within that first year, I kind of developed my voice or understood what I was trying to do. And second year, worked on that thesis, which allowed me to dive deeper into my art and actually understand what I was trying to do and say with the paintbrush. I think as an artist, it's one of the best gifts that we can give ourselves is to have a practice that constantly evolves and constantly unpacks and constantly expands itself and that it can do that for decades after your MFA.